In this tutorial I'm going to cover clear glass. I'm going to do a separate tutorial where I cover colored glass, how to create this, frosted glass, and then also V-Ray Fog and how to use V-Ray Fog. Um, yeah, originally I intended to do all of this in one tutorial, but it just ended up being too long. There's too many specifics and things to get into when it comes to, to glass and creating it. So I'm going to do a separate tutorial for each. So glass isn't set up by default in V-Ray uh, to be correct. Uh, and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Um, but we're going to cover various quirks to do with glass, which aren't necessarily covered, uh, usually in the creation of glass materials. Okay. So to get going, uh, this is a scene. It's fairly simple. I just created a box and with a space, I've got an HDRI with light coming in through this room. Um, I got a table. I got displacement on the table and I got a concrete wall with displacement on it and I got some IES lights here and a bunch of cameras uh, and these are my different glass materials let's just hide a bunch of this stuff gonna go T for top view Z for zoom in gonna pull out here let me hide this 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 just gonna click group and close and I'm pressing control as I'm clicking here to make sure I get the next and next and next this group here that pink box shows there's another group here open so I'm just going to close that all right let's hide these hide selection and this is one of the wines red wine so I'll hide that one and group open oh there's no group there all right so I guess it's the wine already gone no there's the wine in there right there hide that okay and we're going to press alt w to come out I'm going to click on physical camera, go cameras. Uh, I think I want number one. All right, so we're going to use this. I'm just going to do a little region render of this glass. Uh, bring my render set up here. And right now I've got it set to 4K. So let's turn it down. And I'm going to click on V-Ray. I want to do some test renders. So I've got it set to progressive right now. I'm just going to put it on bucket. And I'm going to set my max subdiffs to four. That's uh, normally what I do for test renders. Um, GI can stay brute force and light cache. Uh, I mean, 500 light cache is pretty good for tests. Uh, render elements, I don't really need those. Let's turn those off. And da -da -da -da. frame buffer, make sure nothing's being saved. Okay. Oh, and the other thing was turn off displacement. So click here. Go to global switches, turn off displacement. Okay, click render. Okay, I'm going to stop this here. I just want to render the region here. Render that. Okay, we're going to recreate this glass material now. Now, the first thing which I'm going to do here is look at some reference images. Um, and if we look at wine here, okay, that's a wine glass. So we're going to use this as the reference. Now, this is a different scene. This is a different lit. Like the lighting here is completely different from here. So it's not going to look exactly the same, but we'll get it pretty close. Okay. If I click this button, it brings up the material editor. If I create a new win new view, glass tutorial. All right, V-ray, V-ray material. Okay, call this glass. All right, so on this, I just double clicked and it jumped into the scene. Now we're gonna apply this. I've got it selected. See, it's white, so that means it's selected. And I'm gonna click this button, which assigns it to the scene. So if I do a test, it's just gray. All right. So the first thing is to add in refraction. So you click this little black box, make this, well, in this case, I'm going to make it completely white. And now if I render, I get a basic glass material. All right. Let's do some more things on this. I'm just going to show background in preview and show shaded material in preview. Okay. 
So that's my glass material right now. There's no reflections going on here. You can see there's refractions going on, but no reflections. So I'm going to turn this all the way up to 255 and leave reflective glossiness at 1. So now if we render, we get reflections starting to appear. Now if we look at our reference image, uh, we'll see that these are really very bright uh, reflections here, very, very clear. And here they're not so clear. I mean, this is test, so it's not going to show up the same as if I did a high quality render. But to get that, we're going to turn off Fresnel IOI. Well, not turn off, turn off the lock on this. And then set this. Let's try three. See how that becomes a lot more glossy, a lot more reflective. And we're just going to render that. See, now we're getting all of these reflections occurring here. So that's not too dissimilar to this. That's about right. Okay, now there's a few more things to do. You'll notice this glass has no shadows going on here. So now by default, uh, V-Ray materials have effect shadows here clicked. So this is for refraction. No, the reason for this is because if you apply this to a glass window, you don't want that glass window to be creating shadows in the scene. You don't want the light hitting it, shadows coming in. So that's why this is on. But if you're not creating a window, you want to have that turned off because you want your object to be casting shadows. I'm just going to save this so you can see the difference. You see that shadow there now? Save that out. Make that A, make that B. It's a very clear difference here. So make sure when you have solid objects, we have objects which need to have a shadow, turn off that effect shadows. Okay, now one more thing with this material which you need to consider is reflect on backside is checked off. So that needs to come on. Basically, when you have an uh, uh, object in 3ds Max, it doesn't calculate the reflections on the side not facing the camera. So imagine you have a table. Anything behind that table, it doesn't bother calculating the reflections. You're not going to see them. No one's going to see them. You're not going to notice it but it will add render time. So by default, it's turned off. With glass, you can see through it, so you want to have reflections on both sides of the glass, the back side and the front side. So again, to show you the difference in it, I'm just going to render this. Okay, let's save that. Call this A, call this B. See the difference? That's with the reflections on the back side. That's with the reflections on one side. So you get a lot more going on there, a lot more happening. And you need to turn that on when you're dealing with glass objects. Okay, so there's one more thing to cover in here. And that's this point here. You've got reflection, max depth 5 and refraction max depth 5. So this means it's only going to refract through five objects. Now sometimes you might have a bar and you've got a whole bunch of glasses there. And what's going to happen is it's going to go through five and then it's going to go black. All right, so I've just done some tests here. So uh, let's take a look at this. So this is the, your default glass, okay? Now, if you pay attention here on your refraction, you've got max depth 5 and reflection max depth 5. So what this means is you're only going to get Refraction is going to go through five things and then it's going to stop refracting. Now, like I said, that's the default is five. Now, I did a test setting the refraction at one. If you set it at one, you get this. So then I did a test here and that was with it set up at 100. I mean, normally 20 will do fine, right? So normally you can come in here and change that to 20. You're not really going to get more refract reflections than that. I mean, refractions than that. But if you do get more refractions than 20, okay, set it higher. So here you can see all the refractions going on, but you see all of this blackness. So that blackness is coming from the reflection because the reflection you've told it to only reflect five times. Well, you haven't, but V-Ray has. That's the default. So it's only reflecting five times and then it's going black. So I set that super high too. And if you set that high, you get this. So now it's reflecting and it's refracting and it's looking how it should look. 
Um, normally, you can set this to 20, 20, 20, and that will be more than enough. Okay, in most cases, five is going to be enough. But if you get a scene where you've got a whole bunch of glasses together like this in a row, then yes, this number will need to go up, and this number here will need to go up. So that's how you do it. Now, unfortunately, <laughs> setting this reflection up super high does increase the render time. I mean, look, this one here, this was with the default of five, it took three minutes, 26 seconds. With one, it hardly made a difference, you know, it, it changed it, what, you lost 21 seconds on the render time, and you got that. So that was 3 minutes 26, that was 3 minutes 5 seconds. By setting it up high on the reflection, that really didn't add any time, it took off uh, 16 seconds from 5, you know, and you could see all of these reflections going on. But... When you have the reflect, and it's reflecting on all the surfaces, and you put that up, now that really adds the render time. That went from 3 minutes to 12 minutes. But having said that, you know, the trade-off is reality. So where do you want to go with that? Okay, that's your basic glass material. And I think that's really important.